Pagan Shooter here. I've decided to do a video of how to take down, uh, take, disassemble, and reassemble the Model 60 Marlin rifle. Uh, once again, this is a 22 semi automatic action rifle. Uh, it is only magazine fed. Uh, I have heard of people changing the stock and changing it out, so it is a regular magazine fed. I haven't tried that. I, quite honestly, I don't think I would. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, now, when most people see doing this, they get a little daunted because you have to disassemble uh, the actual rifle. If you look down here on the bottom, there's one screw, and right there behind the trigger, there's a second screw. Uh, essentially, you just need a uh, Phillips head. I'm actually using a star head. It's the closest I could find. I know these bolts are not very tight, so it's not going to cause any damage to the bolts. And I am gently turning them. Not something I, d I would suggest to anybody do. Uh, and you'll notice I put the uh, scope down on the table. I don't think that really affects the scope that much. This scope, don't really care. It's a BB gun scope, don't care. So anybody that's gonna tell me about that, I already know you shouldn't do that. Um, I do plan on getting a new scope for this rifle, so. Uh, another thing I do suggest is take your bolts, put them in something magnetic, something where you're not gonna lose them. If you do lose them, finding them could be a little more difficult than you think. Uh, that or it could be more expensive than you think. So you pull out both bottom screws. There's the second one. The smaller head, longer screw, goes back here into the back of the rifle. Uh, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the stock off. The stock separates pretty easily. And yes, as you can see, it is wood. And that longer screw goes back here. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. So now you're, you have your barrel, your magazine, and your uh, bolt and mechanisms here. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn the magazine and remove from here. Put that aside. I'm then going to, if you look, there is a little plastic piece right here. Uh, kind of like an AR-15 uh, holding bolt or holding pin. I'm just going to push from this side with the flat side or the uh, pointy side, not the flat side. And I'm just going to push and pull out. And you'll see it'll pop up a little bit. So go ahead and pop the mechanisms out. And this is something you definitely want to make sure you clean. This, These are uh, where a lot of your spring action goes. Uh, your hammer's right here, right there. You want to definitely make sure you scrub, scrub and clean that pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my finger in. There's a little ledge right here. I'm going to stick my finger in and lift and push back. I'm then going to put my thumb in and get my finger on the face of the bolt and lift out. You can see I'm lifting out. This is the charging handle. That just falls right out. And I'm going to slowly and carefully remove the bolt, which has got the firing pin and extractor and I'm gonna remove the recoil spring and pin. Alright, that's a little bit interesting. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I would normally go ahead and run my patches through here, clean it up. Yeah, I could use a little bit of a cleaning. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this video. Um, I think everybody kind of has the idea of how to do a cleaning. Um, but pretty much you would just, you would get in here, you would clean down inside here where the bolt runs. You would clean down the barrel, uh, cleaning out the bore. You would clean the bolt and the extractors, making sure that they were well cleaned and oiled. You would clean your firing pin here in the center. There's a firing pin in the center. These are your extractors and uh, ejectors. You would clean the hammer, which is right here. You would clean the bolt release, which is right here. All of the springs down inside. And then you would also clean the back of your uh, charging handle. 
What I'm going to do right now though is, this is dirty, but it's not that dirty. I'm going to do a cleaning probably another time. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick little oil on it, but just a very little. Yeah, just like this. Just a little bit on the outside of the bolt, just so it has a little bit of a sheen. And probably drop a little down where the extractors go just to make sure there's they move easily and freely and they're not bad and I'm probably gonna throw a little oil on the pin here and the spring itself doesn't appear to have a front or back side so it doesn't really it's not really important to get it one way or the other I'm gonna oil down here where the firing pin and the mechanisms are making sure where the metal touches I give a little itty bitty touch of oil and that's it just a little bit not a lot you don't want to put a lot in there and then this is where the fun part comes in because you have to get your bolt down inside without bending your spring or your pin so the idea is you're going to push the pin, you'll put your spring with the pin back here and you're going to push it inside the bolt while it's inside here. And this part can be kind of challenging. So what I'm doing is I'm laying the, if you can see down in there, I'm laying the bolt into the, or the pin into the notch. There's a little pointy head here. Let me show you that real quick. That little pointy head right there. It's going to go down inside, there's a little notch down in there, uh, right here, and there it is, right there, and that's going to sit in there, Oop. other side, and then I'm going to take this bolt and I'm going to gently and carefully push it over the spring into the bolt, oh my goodness. I'm going to put the spring down inside the bolt. We'll put the end of the pin into its little notch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to gently guide the spring up inside the bolt. Till we get to the pin. Because then there's less chance of the spring kinking down inside here. So then once I get it in there, and this does take a little bit of hand and finger strength. So now I'm holding the pin, the bolt back with my finger. And I'm going to take the charging handle, you see how it's a little cradled, and I'm going to just slide that up underneath the bolt so it's inside the chamber. And then I'm going to not do it right there because that's where the bolt hold open is. I'm going to hold the charging handle, keep the bolt facing down so it's like that, and I let it go down inside. So now my bolt is held holding in my charging handle, the tension on the spring is holding the bolt in. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mechanisms, the firing mechanisms, and I'm actually going to hold, I'll move this back, actually we're going to do this, push the bolt back gently, That'll allow the mechanisms to slide in. That'll hold the bolt back, and then we're going to force it down. And then we're just going to slide this pin right in and hold the mechanisms in. So, oops, wrong side. Ugh. I put that in the wrong side. You want to put this in, you want to put this pin in from the right hand side. So the pin slides in and looks just like that. So you're pushing it through a hole here that goes through the block right there. So then, now that I've got this back together, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stock back on. So the stock, all the mechanisms and everything's gonna slide back through. Notice it sits right down on, your bolt release is right here, slides right through the hole there. I'm gonna go ahead and take my front screw, which is the big fat one, uh, short. And I'm going to just put it in there and get it just started. 
And then I'm going to take the long little one for the back. Goes right behind the trigger back here. I'm going to start it in. And then I'm going to take my Allen wrench. Should be using an Allen wrench. I'm a bad person for not. <laughs> Uh, so go ahead and gently screw it back in a little there, not really, really tight until you get them both down and then you'll just snug them in. You don't want to over tighten this because this is plastic back here. This piece back here is plastic. It will break and this is wood and you'll end up pushing or screwing the head into the wood and damaging the stock. So you want to just make it snug. You don't want to make it tight. After that, you replace your magazine rod and odd angles make it difficult. Close it down and then use your bolt release. Releases. I'm not going to dry fire this. Holds it back. Releases. If I hold this down, the bolt release, I can just do a quick release. Uh, otherwise, it looks like it's done. So that is the disassembly and reassembly of the Model 60 Marlin. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, cleaning it is, you know, not that difficult. It's just a matter of getting used to what bolts come out of where, how to pull it apart, and getting the finesse of getting the bolt back in. That's probably the most difficult part. How do you clean your Model 60? Do you have one? Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, share this uh, video, and uh, leave me a comment. Thanks again.